She definitely touched a lot of lives, Greg. Now, as you mentioned, that celebration of life is still underway for Gangsta Boo. I want to just show you how many people are here. Look at all of these cars in the parking lot. There are hundreds of people inside, including her mother, that are all just dancing the night away in her honor. A, lot of no beginnings. a celebration fit for rap royalty. Tonight, hundreds came out to show love at Rail Garden in Midtown, the last place Gangsta Boo graced the stage. <laughs> Gangsta Boo, whose real name was Lola Mitchell, died at the age of 43 at a home in White Haven on New Year's Day. The cause of death is still unknown, but foul play isn't suspected. Boo quickly became a household name as a female MC, joining famed rap group 36 Mafia. She's the queen of Memphis. I mean, she's the first lady of 36 Mafia, uh, you know, to even hold her lyrical skills down in a group like that was just awesome by itself. And she's known worldwide. For Del Lawrence, she was an icon and a best friend he's going to miss dearly. Her laugh, her wit, her, all the late night conversations we would have, just her, her essence. At tonight's celebration, her mother, family, friends, and fans. Guess who was like a mentor. Like, she always showed love. Like, for the past three years, she always made sure she called and checked up on me, especially like when stuff really started going fast. Whether you choose to rap her iconic lyrics or dance to the beat of her music, those who know her best say her legacy will live on through her influence. So many of the young girls paying homage, you know what I mean, and, and really appreciating who she was and what she did for our culture. Uh, and it just, you know, shows that she inspired so many people. Gangsta Boo will be laid to rest tomorrow. Her funeral will be held at Brown Baptist Church in South Haven. For now reporting live in Midtown, Bria Jones, WREG News, Channel 3.